Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikhail Naidu and today I'm going to be doing a one brand tutorial with Almay. So Almay in South Africa has just launched their new line um, of makeup and it's so amazing. I've got tons and tons of products to use um, but I'm going to go straight into it. So let's get started. Okay cool. So first things first I'm going to start with the best blend forever. I'm in the color caramel. So I'm going to use this on my skin. So with this, um, it's got like this little applicator, um, like a spongy thing at the end, which is really cool, um, but I prefer to use my, um, my brush applicator, just because it goes on a little bit more smoothly. I don't know what you would want to call it, the beauty blender. It's very hard, so it doesn't act as a sponge on the skin. So I honestly do prefer using my makeup brush or my beauty blender um, instead of the applicator that it comes with. Okay, so I'm going to go in with some concealer now and I'm using the Almay Smart Concealer. So it goes on white but once blended into your skin it turns that shade. How cool. I'm going to use my finger and apply some under my eye like that. Massage it in. And once I've concealed under my eyes, I am going to go in with my beauty blender afterwards just to even everything out. Okay, so now for the fun part, I'm going to be using these really cool Almay eyeshadows. I'm going to be using the new Nouveau 20 Fabulista eyeshadow palette, which looks like this. Um, so it comes in a variety of different colors, eating like a purpley, bluish kind of vibe. So I'm going to take this purple shade right here, and I'm going to be putting it into the creases of my eye. Like that. Oh, it's so pigmented. Let's come in a little closer. And then I'm gonna take another brush and just blend that all out. I'm gonna go in with this blue shade here and I'm gonna just tap this on the inner corners of my eye. Going out like that. So it looks kind of purplish on the outside and bluish on the inside. And I'm going to take my brush and then just blend that out nicely. Now I'm going to go in with my concealer again. Uh, I'm going to use the same concealer with a little brush like this. I'm just going to pick some up and I'm going to apply this. Now I'm going in with a really cool new shade, Thrill Seeker. And I'm kind of going to blend these two here and then put that one on top of it. So blend these two in the base and then apply this glitter piece on the top. And I'm going to use a flattish brush for this. Top. In. And then with my blending brush, I am just going to blend so there's no harsh lines. I'm going to take a little bit more of this one. The blue and the purple. I'm going to put purple on the outside and then I'm going to put the blue on the inside. I'm going to take some of the concealer again and I'm um, to mix it up on my little spool here. I'm just going to clean up under my eye. Apply it with my brush and then blend it in with my beauty blender. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the 
press powder. Um, this is from Almay. I got this um, in a. Sh it's. I think it's like a like a setting powder, but I got it in a shade darker so that I can contour with it. So I'm going to just use that and see if I can carve up my cheekbones with it. So I prefer using a liquid concealer because it the, the lines a little bit more sharp um, and you can build on it it just takes much longer with a powder but I seem to like this one a little bit because it's very subtle and I can build on it which is great and I always always do it underneath or, or just follow my jawline And I'm going to take a small brush and go along just so that I can give my nose some sort of shape. Now I'm going to go in with the mascara. This is the Liquid Lash Extender Mascara and I love the packaging. I love this orange packaging. So what I like to do when putting mascara, <clears throat> I start at the base of my lash and flick it out so make sure the base gets a nice coat when I flick it out and once um, I feel like the base has a good coat I can move to the top of my lashes when mom brings you breakfast okay let's get back to this mm. that honey is so good or this is shape that there's nothing in my teeth. I probably shouldn't have eaten that. <laughs> okay, so this is the difference with and without lashes. It is a lash extender, so it makes my lashes longer, but it doesn't make my lashes fuller. So I'm gonna do some lashes. So I've applied um, the lashes. They are really, really long and really, really exaggerated, but that's fine. Um, and now I'm going to go in with some highlighter, which I feel like is so important, but I'm going to use it from this palette here. So I'm going to be using this top shade here. And I'm going to go in with a little of an angled brush and I'm going to dip it in because it's an eyeshadow. It's really pigmented. So I'm going to just... At first I'm just going to dab because I don't want to put too much on. So I'm just <clears throat> going in with a slightly bigger brush so that I can blend it out nicely. And the blending is key because you don't want it to look like that's just sitting on your face. Just keep it well. All our brush and just use it for the corners of my eye. So for lips, I'm using the I'll make so this is the goddess gloss um, and it's in the color 600 fairy. And I'm going to be using this on my lips. So this is the final look. <clears throat> I love the way it came out. Um, I actually didn't expect it to come out this great because I'm so skeptical when it comes to one brand tutorials and trying them out for the first time. So I'm really, really glad with the way this makeup look came out. Uh, quick first impressions on my favorite and not so favorite products. I am obsessed and I would 1001% recommend their eyeshadow palettes. They're really high pigmented. You can really play with them. You can really use them. Their colors are amazing. Um, and yeah, I think you're definitely getting what you pay for. Um, my least favorite product though would be the Almay Liquid Lash Extensions. I think because my 
lashes are naturally long and not so thick um, this didn't really work for my for my lashes the brush didn't really work so which is why I had to put on um, the false lashes but I think if you have thicker lashes and you need the length and not the volume this would probably work for you um, it's a nice consistency um, and it goes on really well um, as you can see it did go on my bottom lash but not as thick because it, it obviously it's, it's there for length so this would be my least favorite product um, but I do recommend it if you have thicker or yeah thicker lashes and you need the length this would probably work for you I really thoroughly enjoyed using the concealer um, as you can see I used multiple different ways I used it underneath my eyes and I used it to create the holographic look on my eye um, this is really cool and I love the fact that it changes color and you can kind of play with it really really cool the best blend of fa foundation um, this is I think it's I need a, a, a slightly lighter color I think this is slightly too dark for my skin um, so I'm probably gonna go get a lighter color, but I really like this. The only thing I didn't like was this little applicator thing. It didn't work for me. Um, I really do prefer using the makeup brush or my beauty blender. Um, it's just, it's hard, it's very uncomfortable in your skin, so it's much better to blend it in with a beauty blender or a makeup brush. Um, one thing I also enjoyed um, was the pressed powder that I got in a shade darker so that I could contour my face. Um, I, it probably isn't there to contour your face because it's very light so you have to kind of keep keep applying this on. Um, so I would recommend that you actually use this as a pressed powder and not as a uh, not for contouring. Um, but it did work quite well for contouring as well if you want to go that route. Okay, so yeah, that's basically everything that I tried out, right? Oh, the lip gloss, I like it. It also has that holographic effect in it with the glitter. I'm not so much a glitter person though, so I would not um, use this very often because I like my matte lipsticks uh, and my nudish lipsticks. So I like this, the way this looks on me. Um, it would probably go really good on top of another lipstick. Um, so I will try that out again and then probably give you guys some feedback on my Instagram. But so far, so good. I really enjoyed doing this tutorial. I, I did not expect that it was going to come out like this. I'm really happy with the outcome. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think about this tutorial. Uh, I love doing these tutorials simply because you're forced to use that specific brand and you can't really go back to your favorite foundation or your favorite mascara and you give your honest honest opinion on it so i love doing these one brand tutorials let me know if you want any other one brand tutorials in the comment section down below and i will be sure to get to them as soon as i can um also uh give it a thumbs up please if you like this video i really do makeup videos but when i do do them i really do enjoy them so please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed I would highly appreciate that. Um, but until next time, um, thank you so much for watching. Please follow me on Instagram. Keep up with me. Send me a message, a comment. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.